Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda, and this is Gizmo. We're the Village's Newcomers, here to bring you all the news and exciting happenings from Florida's friendliest hometown. A big thanks to all of you that subscribe. We appreciate it so much. We love it when you press that button. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about a club that I attend when I can mm -hmm. called Peace, Love, and Ukulele. And should there be a cap on amenity fees? And also, fall foliage withdrawal. That's easy for you to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> Go ahead. You want a deli? We got a deli for you. All that and more. Hit it, Wally. Send us your questions. We've got your answers. Jerry and Linda's Mailbag Monday. It's getting chilly. I had to use my... Uh, a jacket in the morning and a couple days I even use gloves. You know, we'll know when it really gets chilly because we'll roll the sides down on the golf cart mm -hmm. and maybe get that propane... Propane? Huh? What's a propane? Propane heater out and put it in the uh, golf cart. Oh, yeah. That thing will, will roast you, though. You got to be... It will. You know, I, it's, I, yeah, but it's good. We're not complaining. We love it when the temperature drops here. It's beautiful. You can walk and it's crisp and it reminds me of fall back home. Yeah, we're starting the last week of October. We mm -hmm. still, we haven't had any heat on yet, of course. <laughs> but things are nice, and we're getting to the kind of weather during the days that you come to Florida for. It's mm -hmm. just beautiful. Right. We want to recognize our amazing viewers that sent us gifts through that thanks button. It's called Super Thanks. It's located at the bottom of the screen. Here they are. Their names are scrolling. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. One of our sons came up with an amazing idea. He knows we have just a vast army <laughs> of viewers out there, and you're doing cool things, and you're seeing neat things. So if you do, and you send us a video, we'll look at it and perhaps put it on. Keep that video to about 15 to 30 seconds long, maybe just a little clip of your fun. And remember to keep that video in horizontal format, landscape, and I think that could be fun. That will be neat to see what's happening all around us. There's a club that meets every Monday, and I try to go when I can. It's called Peace, Love, and Ukulele. And, of course, the ukulele gives it away. I would say there's a 100 people that gather and play the coolest songs. They put them up on a screen. Well, take a look at this video. So many people there socializing, playing ukulele learning new songs together, and they'll do public performances, and they'll even uh, go to venues like, uh, I don't want to say, what do you, that's what I used to call old folks home. What do you call that? <laughs> retirement uh, homes. Retirement homes. <laughs> yeah, and perform for the, uh, uh, I don't want to say inmates, what do I want to say? <laughs> residents. They feel like residents. <laughs> and it's a great, and I, I'm really happy to be part of that, even though I can't play the ukulele. I, I want to so bad. Yeah. I'm really working on it. My fingers are big and they're slow. And, and <laughs> well, We are getting slower. But I think you said it means every Monday, but it doesn't. It's occasional, but you'll have to look that up in the rec news maybe. Or uh, And there are other ukulele clubs. We had another one. Yeah, that we there's another to. one. There's lots it of moved them. down to yeah. Everglades, so yes. we, we kind of stopped going. We may start by doing that again because I really yeah. do want to learn to play. Yeah. Here's a question from Ben up in New York. Living in the Northeast, we have lots of great delis. Do you have any good kosher delis in the villages? Thanks for the question, Ben. Do you remember when you and I went to New York City? We did. And we were... Oh, uh, oh yeah. We wanted to go to the world-famous Cat's Deli. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, you got to go. And that's neat because <laughs> in New York, I guess everybody that's anybody... Uh -huh has gone there, yeah. and their pictures are all up around, right. and it's really cool. Oh, uh, the I, sandwiches, I pastrami, I mean, like, mile high. Oh, my gosh. Let us know if you've been to Cat's Deli. Yes. Oh, my. Now, here in the villages, inside the villages, I don't know of any delis other than 2J's, which I consider that a deli. That is? It's very good. It's, sure. It's a restaurant chain, actually. Mm -hmm that focuses on things like that mm -hmm. pastrami is right. real good. They even sell a pastrami burger that's crazy good. Uh. But we actually found the New York Deli. That's probably what you're talking about. And it was out on Highway 441, mm -hmm. and we went there and we ate. Mm -hmm. You can see some footage in there from the, uh, from the restaurant itself. 
Very low key place. It's lovely. A bunch of girls went with me and we went sat outside. It was a lovely day. It's a place you're gonna wanna go. From the outside, it kind of reminded me of a butcher shop or something. So it's here for you. We think there's another one maybe in Leesburg. Mm -hmm. When you talk about Leesburg, it's not far away. No. The villages touches Leesburg. So yeah. you can leave the villages and be in Leesburg in five minutes. Um, yeah. So we, there's, we think there's one there. But that New York Deli, give it a try if you're here. A lot of interesting stuff there. Our next question is from Fred and Becca Hobbs. Do snowbirds drive back and forth between their northern homes and the villages, or do they keep a car at each house and fly? We hadn't really given that much thought mm -hmm. until we got the question. Right. And Fred and Becca, mm -hmm. we started looking at our friends that are snowbirds. Mm -hmm. One bought a car and keeps it in their garage here. Mm -hmm. So when they fly down, somebody will pick them up at the airport, they'll come to their home, and then they'll have a car. Mm -hmm. But you need a car here. I mean, uh, yeah. I think you do. But we started looking at our other friends that are snowbirds, and they drive back and forth. They drive back and forth. Yeah. They drive back and forth. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have and maintain and license two cars, I guess. Yeah. And these snowbirds that we're talking about are from Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, Kansas, Kansas uh, and Indiana. Yeah. So they do bring cars back and forth, but you're totally welcome to buy one and keep it in your garage. That would be ideal. Yeah. On the same sort of topic, Stephanie from Murfreesboro, Tennessee asks... Do most couples make it with just one car? Something else I've noticed is no cars are parked in the street. What's the policy if you have a company and you need extra parking outside your driveway? Can people park in the street? Oh. And Stephanie, the answer to both of those questions is yes. We also started looking at that. That's a question we hadn't really considered. Right. We have one car. Our neighbor next door has one car. Uh, our neighbors across the street have one car. Our friends over here have one car. Mm -hmm. Very few couples here seem to have more than one car. This is from Marjorie. Please show video or pictures of your backyard. Yeah, Marjorie, <laughs> this is it. You're looking at it there. A lot of the viewers have seen this over the last four years that yeah. we've put out uh, videos. Those trees are beautiful, aren't they? They're not really our trees. They're, those are on our neighbor's property. Yeah. But we sure enjoy looking at them, uh, the classic Florida palm trees. Matt and Kristen from Hagerstown, Maryland have a question. As mortgage rates are rapidly increasing, are the villages seeing a decline in monthly home sales? And do many first-time home buyers take out mortgages? Well, we never know the answers to things like this. We know what we think. Yeah. <laughs> A good guess. <laughs> but I ask someone in the know, somebody official, somebody who shall remain nameless, <laughs> and they told me, even now, even as the homes are so expensive, mm. and even as the rates are creeping up, I looked yesterday, and the they're over 6%. Mm. It seems like a year ago you could get the uh, mortgage for half of that. The village is still sets a record almost every month yeah. on home sales. So home sales have not slowed down whatsoever. Yeah. I would have thought they would. Yeah, I, I did too. And check this out if you're wondering. Do many first-time home buyers, buyers take out mortgages? Well, I assume you're meaning first-time in the villages. Yeah. And the fact is that same source told us that 60% of the purchases in the villages are cash sales. Oh, my goodness. There so 40% of the sales involve a mortgage payment, mm. but most don't. That's because it's a retirement community and yeah. people have saved and accumulated things their whole life. Yeah. And when we came, we made the biggest single investment we've ever made in our home. And that's what people are doing. This is from Skeeter. You said on other shows that you used to live on a farm. You remarked about the woods and trees. Do you miss not having that and seeing all of that beautiful color in the fall? Skeeter. Skeeter. I like, I like that. that name. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I miss the leaves. I miss the colors. Um, I, I miss the rolling hills of our southern Indiana home and, and our farm. Our farm was separate from our home. Um, but, um, yeah, 
I miss the leaves. Yeah, we, we do, but we don't miss raking them. We no, lived on no. a one acre lot. A wooded lot. When we bought that lot before we ever built that home, there were so many trees you could hardly walk on that mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. Big trees, lots of trees. Mm -hmm. And we kept as many as we could, and they decided to repay us by dropping thousands and thousands, <laughs> if not millions, of leaves on our property. So we do not miss raking those yeah. leaves. No. And they made the driveway slick. Oh, they slippery. did. Slippery. Yeah. You could bust your tail. We, yeah, I did. <laughs> so we, we missed the look of it. And in fact, we were talking, and we lived in a place called The Knobs. It was a series of small hills, well, large hills, small yeah. mountains, I guess, yeah. that overlooked Louisville, Kentucky. And every day when you come down through the knobs in your car on the way to Louisville, you would see the most panoramic view. Yes. Just gorgeous. We missed that. We missed the hills. We missed standing on yeah. top of a hill and looking out. Mm -hmm. That farm we owned, we could mm -hmm. see for miles yeah, on could. that farm. And yeah. here you don't have any hills. Like I said, you don't have any babbling brooks. So we miss a lot of things from Indiana. But when we go outside here, Every day we remark how beautiful it is. We do. Right now there's a grass that's blooming and it's heathery purple. It's just lavender and it is gorgeous against the golf courses right now. So yeah. there's a touch of fall here and uh, not like back home. And by the way, our, our, our place back home is called Floyd's Knobs, not just the knobs. It's called Floyd's Knobs. You can look that up on your, on your uh, map, your Google. <laughs> and we look up at the sky every day and say, mm. wow. That's mm -hmm. beautiful. In Indiana, yeah. you couldn't really see the, from where we lived, you couldn't hardly see the sky unless you looked straight up. Yeah. yeah. So that's something. And the trees in Indiana would drop their leaves and be gray and dismal for five or six months. Yeah. yeah. You don't get that here. You have, every day you go outside, you've got some, some beautiful scenery. So yeah. we do miss it, but we love it here. This is also from Callahan, and, and they said, thought you might like to see some fall foliage from northeast Pennsylvania. So, oh, they're going to take us yay! on a little drive. That's nice. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for that. I want to take a trip to the Smoky Mountains. Yes, that's gorgeous. If you've ever been the there, fall. that's, that's a, a course, wonderful place. During the fall, it's hard to get a hotel there, and if yes. you do, you pay dearly, mm -hmm. but it's so beautiful there. Mm -hmm. Already, if you if you, it looks like we're crying, she's not beating me. Uh, <laughs> that intro was tough. We 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 took three or four tries to get that done. So now hopefully we're back on track. And every time we make a mistake, I laugh and laugh and and then we start crying. He, I'm laughing because I'm I think it's funny. He's he. I don't know if he thinks it's funny. <laughs> get that adjusted a little bit. Hi everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. That's Gizmo. Oh. Let's start again. What are we going to talk about today? Our subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this show on the road. Shouldn't that be the full screen? Why is it black on that one side? Flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> I had a <sighs> hair stuck to my lipstick, and I'm going like this while you're talking. There it is. Found it. That's a mustache. <laughs> if you have the Next Door app or you read the Village's news, you're going to see the hot topic the last couple weeks are amenity fees. Mm. People are trying to decide, do we want a cap on the amenity fees or no cap? Some people say we need a cap. It can't just keep increasing every single year. And other people are afraid, well, we came here for the scenery, the beauty, all the amenities, yes. all the things we enjoy cost money. If we don't keep paying that, you know, when the, when the cost of living goes up, those amenity fees are going to go up. You know, it's a kind of a catch-22. Yeah. We want all the extra things, but we don't want to pay for them. I know. Mm -hmm. So here is a few things uh, that were written. Most certainly a cap for amenities should be put in place. As we age, myself, 22 years since we moved in here. Mm -hmm. What they mean is they were probably 50 when they moved here. They're 72 now. I and many others cannot participate in many of the amenities offered here in the villages anymore. Yeah. 
therefore paying more for the wonderful extras we can't use. Yeah. I'm not complaining, just stating it. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Right. That's part of the argument. For example, Linda doesn't play pickleball. Should she have to pay part of her amenity fee for pickleball courts? Our next door neighbor doesn't play golf. Should he have to pay part of his amenity fee for golf? Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's all a big package it's deal. A package. You know, some people don't swim. They have their own pool in their home. Should they pay for yeah. for the swimming pools? It's Ooh. you know, some people have a golf cart and some people don't, but we have these beautiful golf cart yeah. trails. The thing is we're all pitching in together so that we have this wide range of activities that everyone can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Another comment that made sense was, if residents are aware that amenity fees will increase a maximum of 5% per year, residents may be able to plan. Yes. And you know, there's a perception that everybody that lives here is rich. Mm -mm. They are not. No. You need to watch your spending, you need to watch your budget, and if it can go up unannounced, uncontrolled, yes. it's gonna be tough. Yeah. But if they put a small cap on it, Perhaps everybody's a little happier. It's a decision that'll be made here before too long, I imagine. We'll let you know what happens. This is from Arlene. When going on vacation, should you turn off main water supply? Should you also turn off hot water tank? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Again, we have friends that are snowbirds. They do not turn off their main water supply because some of them have pools. Mm -hmm. And the, the pool service that comes by, even when you're gone, needs to add water to the pool mm -hmm. or will come in and flush your toilets, run your sinks. Right. So they don't shut it off here uh, when they're gone for periods of time. Of course, somebody might. You know, no one answer or rule yeah. fits everybody. But mm -hmm. we found that most people leave it on. As far as shutting off the water heater, um, I don't know of anybody that does that. No, I don't. Here's a question I thought you guys would think was funny. Uh, we got it from Lorinda in New York City, I guess. It seems like men in Florida do a lot of crazy things. You know, like the Florida Man videos. Why are people so crazy down there? Lorinda, I don't know. I don't know if they are crazy there or it's... It's like so many things, it it's, gets takes hold and snowballs. You know, this is a term that I didn't know until Jerry just started talking to me about it, and I'm going, uh, I haven't heard about it, and now I am. <laughs> Florida man. The term Florida man originated in 2013. It apparently started with newspaper accounts, which quoted notable or strange, bizarre behavior <laughs> containing the words Florida man. Oh, my goodness. Here are a couple I pulled out for you from actual news stories. Florida man run over by van after dog pushes the accelerator. Oh. Police arrest Florida man for drunken joyride on motorized scooter at Walmart. Florida man arrested in local park for practicing karate on swans. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> Can you imagine some idiot uh, uh, yeah. kick, kicking swans in the park? Uh. Florida man denies drinking and driving, said he only swigged the bourbon at stop signs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Florida man gets tired of waiting at the hospital, steals an ambulance, and drives home. Oh. I think you could find uh, First class. crazy behavior in every state. I, I think it's yes. fun to read them, actually. Yeah. But, well, now, now I'm aware of it, so I'm going to start looking for it. I'll tell you what. Florida man drives like a maniac. <laughs> Some do. Oh, one yesterday. Oh, he was going like, whoa, 80. <laughs> Two times yesterday. Oh, Two times. We had a rough time yesterday getting home. <laughs> she, she yells at me in the car. I don't know. Do like you yell at your spouse in the car? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just don't like confrontation at all. Ugh. No, keep away from those crazy drivers. This question is from John. A few weeks back, you had a show of snakes that you may find in your yard. Are you afraid the gizmo might encounter one? Has that ever happened? Oh, yes, I'm afraid for him. We had a neighbor that called me last <laughs> week. Take a look at this video. I have always considered snakes just to be animals. You know, uh, they're not slimy. They're not aggressive. No matter what people will tell you, most snakes all they want to do is escape. So if they take off like that one in the video, he wasn't coming at me. 
I was down eyeball to eyeball with him. He's just mm. trying to get away. Well, as a woman, we are all scared of snakes. It's just, it said so in the Bible, Jerry. <laughs> we are all going to be scared of snakes. <laughs> well, here we've seen quite a few snakes. I'm, by quite a few, I mean one every two or three months. Yeah, we don't see them often. No, know, and, and they're almost always black snakes. No, most of them are black snakes that we've seen. And we have not had a snake in our yard in probably two years. It's been a while since we've seen a snake. <laughs> I watch one come up. <laughs> and here's our last question. Oh. Cheryl asks, just curious, with all the t-shirts you both own, <laughs> have you had to add space in your closet or dresser? <laughs> well, this is our long sleeve. This is our only long sleeve. We need another um, color long sleeve. The seafoam green. <laughs> we need a new winter shirt. <laughs> People comment on this shirt. They say, are you wearing it backwards? Cause, oh, because it has this. Yeah. It has a low. It on, it's on front and back. It's more like a football jersey almost. <laughs> yeah, it's like a but jersey. But we have it out the long sleeve today because of the cool weather. Yeah. We do have a collection of t-shirts. Let's take a look. Well, here they are. <laughs> yes. We want, he's wanting to. <laughs> These are gizmos. <laughs> And then over here, there's about 15 colors. <laughs> he says he wants more colors, Jerry. <laughs> it's always a topic of conversation when we film Mailbag Monday. Which shirt are we going to wear? <laughs> and we used to wear them when we went out and filmed the Thursday videos. But Linda, she's got an extensive wardrobe of blingy other things that she wants to wear sometimes and show off. So we, we don't usually wear them except on Mailbag Monday. Yeah. But we love them, and we love to see you guys wearing them. Yeah. Again, if, if you're interested, we don't sell them. Just go to Etsy. Look up Jerry and Linda, and you can find our provider, which is Garment of Praise. It's a very nice lady out of Idaho that sells those shirts. We don't get any money from them. No. But uh, she's a very nice lady, and she'll take good care of you. It's time for shout outs. We were at the tax collector the other day mm -hmm. and we met Rick Clark. Yeah. And uh, we don't have a picture of his wife, but he said that they watch. Mm -hmm. He was changing over his driver's license and ran into us. And we want to take a few minutes to welcome him to Daluna. Oh, yeah. This nice collage was sent by Cheryl. She's invited us to join herself, Benny, Mike, Raina, Ra Ramon. Ramon, Natalie, and Terry at a block party coming up real soon at St. John's. And we've never been to St. John's. Looking forward to that. Yeah, we'll go there and yeah. see what it's all about. Right. And always in, enjoy being invited to block parties. Sure. We can't go to all of them. No. We're not really party animals. You guys think we are because we post some videos. <laughs> Well, yeah, we like to come and sit and uh, sit in the driveway and listen to music. We love to do that. She's a great dancer. Uh, I, 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 I'm a buffoon, uh, but she is a great dancer, and uh, she'll come down and dance with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to try to make that, Cheryl. Thank you for the invite. Al and Barbara Nickerson, they come to us all the way from Massachusetts, recently bought a home in the really nice village just north of here of St. Charles. Yeah. We want to welcome them. Here they are in their winter coats. Woo! Do we have any winter coats uh, left? We do. <laughs> you can get rid of those. Well, maybe not get rid of them, but you won't use them as much down here. No. I still have cowboy boots. And, and I'll tell you what, winter is kind of cool down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It might get down to 40 degrees. Yeah, it's gone in the 30s. A it has a twice. few times. What was the low temperature so far this, this year? It's, mm, 43. It's October 24th, 42 or 43. Mm -hmm. Just right yeah. for wearing that jacket that yeah. you've been wanting to wear. Right. So you'll get you get a chance to wear a few of your winter right. things. And believe me, it'll get cold enough to put those coats back on, that's, Alan Barber. That's true. And this is a big hello to Ron and Jody Miller. They have a new home in the village of Sanibel. And that's not too far from us. And we want to welcome them. And they're here in the front of that famous sign. Congratulations. Santa Bell's right up there near yeah. the Sarasota Golf Course. Mm -hmm. That would be an ideal location mm -hmm. if you'd like to play sure. golf. Linda got to meet Donna and Stephen yeah. Hoover at the Seabreeze Rec Center. 
they live in California. We are seeing a lot of people from California come into the villages. Mm -hmm. And they were here on a recent visit. It was Stephen's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Stephen. I'm belated. <laughs> it is time for Viewer of the Week. One of our frequent viewers is Ronnie Delaplane. Ronnie's lived here for quite a while in the villages, and he's a retired Marine. I guess you're oh. never really a retired Marine. He's a Marine. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Ronnie, for your service. He always provides some good and interesting answers to our questions, and we really appreciate him. And uh, thank you for watching, Ronnie. He's been really good today. You see, he's been moaning here a little bit lately. He knows when we get to the shout outs, which we're doing at the end now, that it's almost his turn, so he's ready. Yeah. Did you come up with anything this week? Okay, take it away. I probably shouldn't tell this, but I will. Mom was in the bedroom the other day, and she yelled out to Dad. She said, do you ever get a shooting pain across your body like somebody's got a voodoo doll and they're stabbing it? And he said, no. And a minute later, she yelled back, how about now? <laughs> Do you know why a nose cannot be 12 inches long? Because if a nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. <laughs> hey, thanks for sending those jokes in. And if you send some more, maybe I'll read them. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week's edition of Bag Monday. Be sure to tune in for Thursday's show. We hope to bring you an exciting cart ride if I get finished with all the editing. There you go. <laughs> I love our cart rides. I do too. And Lovely. we have a new camera that we're going to be utilizing mm -hmm. that you guys helped us buy. So thank you so yes. much. You know, I think he's a little bit tired today. He's been yeah, practicing. Yeah, he's tired. He's been practicing getting up on the couch. With We're all stair tired. Stairs. We don't usually shoot this this early in the morning. That's why we probably like, and we got off to a start. We were laughing and hooting and hollering yeah. here a little bit. <laughs> Having a good time. But we want to thank you and ask you to please tune in for Thursday's show. We're going to take a cart ride, and I think you're really going to like it. Please keep those questions coming. We sure do appreciate that. If you liked our video today... That's our address, see it? Oh. <laughs> our email address. That's where you send those questions. Yeah. I thought we were starting to dance. <laughs> if you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button and share it with all your friends. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>